Hey guys, I'm Stephanie and this is Steph's Dave. And tonight we're gonna to be making something that my family loves for dinner and it is chicken casserole. So stay tuned and let's get ready and make some chicken casserole together. All right, to get this chicken casserole started, obviously it starts with chicken. So I've had thawing out overnight in the refrigerator. And if you don't have time to thaw these out because we're gonna cook them on the stove top first, you can just throw them in here frozen. I've definitely done that many a time and it works just fine. I just happened to remember and put these last night in the refrigerator to thaw. So I've got 10 chicken tenders and of course you could use about four chicken breasts, but I just prefer to buy the tenders. And to this, I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt because you want it seasoned when you're cooking. And I'm gonna add about four cups of water or enough to cover by about a half an inch my chicken. I'm just gonna take most of the four cups. And to this, I'm gonna turn it on seven or about medium high for my chicken to come to a boil and become um, completely cooked through. Our chicken has just finished cooking and you can kind of see that it is cooked through and I'll just tear it apart and you can see there's no longer any pink. And if you're worried about an exact, that's okay because we are gonna finish this in the oven as well. So I'm gonna take these out and put my chicken tenders in a pan. All right, after I've removed all of the chicken tenders, I'm gonna reserve this liquid and we're gonna come back to it later. So let's move on to putting our chicken casserole together. All right, I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I have about a two and a half quart casserole dish here that I've placed two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna put this in the oven while it's preheating to melt the butter. While that's melting, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna chop up, and for this I used kitchen shears, and I'm gonna chop up into little um, bite-sized pieces my chicken tenders. And you can pick them up, you can just kinda go down the middle. And my little cat is going crazy because she smells chicken. So, bless her, she wants some so bad. hear a little bell jingling in the background. She might even start talking to us. I'll just check to be sure that I have them all. And this is just the easiest way. You can just kind of jab down there. You can pick some of them up. Simple, simple. All right. So now that we have that together, move on to this mixture we are going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup can of cream of mushroom soup and half a cup of sour cream You can add a little bit of salt in here if you choose. It's not really necessary because of the salt from the soup and then we added some salt when we cook the chicken. But I also add just about um, a half a teaspoon of poppy seeds and I'm just gonna eyeball this through there. And let's mix this together. The longest process we do with this is making the chicken, but it is just delicious. All right, there we have the things. And our oven is almost finished preheating, so we're gonna add this to our dish and get moving with our casserole. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan out of the oven. Remember I had it preheated to 350 degrees so that my 
um, baking dish is hot and also I melted my butter in there. And to this, I'm gonna add my chicken mixture. we used to make this um, together, my daughter and I, when she was really small. And it's so funny, because she had got so used to doing it, she would memorize everything that I did. And I'm talking when she was really small. She was like, maybe about four or so. And we had went to a funeral, and she was speaking with someone, an older person. And she just propped up next to him, and she was about four and a half years old. And she, <laughs> that they knew that um, she would cook with me. So they asked her, they said, what you been cooking good lately? And she said, oh, I just made a chicken casserole the other night. Just like an older person, it was so sweet. And so they thought they'd humor her and they said, well, what goes in it? And she said, well, she said, you boil some chicken and cut it up and then add a can of creamy mushroom soup, half a cup of sour cream, Put it in the oven with some melted butter in your pan and cook it. They said, how long do you cook it? She said, oh, you know, just till it bubbles. Just like a little old person. It was so funny. But anyway, the memories we have with food. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven and just like my little Cordy told them, we are gonna cook it until it starts to bubble and then we're gonna add a nice crust to the top. Here we go. There we go, it's getting ready. Go ahead and set our timer for about 20 minutes or until it starts bubbling. All right guys, remember I said we were gonna save the cooking liquid or the chicken broth from our chicken. I'm gonna pour it into a Pyrex bowl and all the little chicken bits and all, I'm not straining any of them out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna need um, three cups of this. So as you can see, I still have about four cups in here, so I'm gonna pour off three cups back into my pot so I can measure it correctly. Two seconds. Do another look at the good measure. All right, and to this, we're gonna go back to the stove and see what we add here. All right, so we're back at the stove and to this chicken broth, we are going to turn our eye back on about seven to get it up um, to almost a boiling state because we are going to add some rice to it. And alongside with the chicken casserole, my family likes to have rice, but because I had this great chicken stock, I didn't want to waste it. So I like to have my rice that's infused with the chicken flavor. So I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then I'm gonna add one and a half cups. I have three cups of liquid. So remember rice is a, a two to one ratio. And so I've got three cups of chicken stock and one cup, one and a half cups, excuse me, of granulated, um, this, I think this is long grain rice. I believe that's what we purchased last time. And we're gonna mix this together till it comes to a full bowl and reduces a little. And then we'll put the lid on it, let it simmer till it is soft and fluffy. So we can have to go over or with, alongside, the way my husband likes to eat it, our chicken casserole. All right, as you can see, my rice has come to a full bowl and I'm gonna turn it off and stir it really well. And as you can see, there is more rice than liquid and so at this point, after I've started, I'm gonna put the lid on and turn it off and it's gonna sit, there's a little steamer hole, for 10 minutes and we will have perfect chicken infused fluffy rice. All right, as we put together our topping to go on top of our chicken casserole, it's one sleeve of Ritz crackers crushed. I'm gonna get these open and just dump them out into my bowl here and I'm gonna start Crushing them with my hand. I 
It always seems like the bottom crackers are crushed already. I don't know why that is, but the bottom ones always crush. So I'm just gonna come in and take my hand and just mash these up to get a fine crunch. You want it pretty well um, mashed up. You don't want a lot of chunky bits on here. You do want it kind of ground up and mashed, and I'll show you the consistency we're looking for here. This just on top of the chicken casserole. Oh, it's so yummy. We have a few, that's not bad, but I want it mostly fine like this. That's the consistency I'm looking for. Now, to this, I'm gonna add one third of a stick of melted butter and mix this together. Mix this together well. And the butter will continue to absorb through the cracker, so this will just give a good, crunchy, crunchy topping on top of the chicken. All right, it's almost time to put it on and let it brown up again. All right, my timer's going off, so I'm gonna stop my timer and look. Let's see if it's just like Courtney said when she was little. Is it bubbling? And it is. It's time to pull it out real quickly and add the topping. All right, I know you can even hear it bubbling and sizzling, so we are going to right directly to the top of this. Add our Ritz crack our crackers top that is covered in good old butter. And yes, I do use real butter when I do this. I, I prefer to use real butter. And I guess it'd be okay if you use margarine. It's just preference, but it definitely tastes better with butter. And I'm gonna smooth this out all to the edges because everyone wants to get some of that crunchy topping. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back in. There. And back in the oven this goes for about 10 minutes. All right, guys, the timer just went off. And there is our beautiful chicken casserole ready to come out of the oven. Yummy, look at this guys. Wonderful chicken um, casserole that's still bubbling and hot with a great crunchy topping. You remember we made our white rice um, infused with our chicken broth. So let's check on it. Oh, and release that steam. Oh, it's hot. And look at our rice. Perfect, perfect. And it will be filled with that chicken flavor. Look at that. Just perfect, beautiful rice. So we're gonna have our chicken casserole and chicken flavored rice. I'm Stephanie, guys, and this is Steph Stove. Thank you so much for um, watching with me as we made chicken casserole and chicken infused fluffy rice. I do hope you enjoy this and you'll make it with your families. And remember, we're making memories one dish at a time. Enjoy.